In an effort to stop the COVID-19 pandemic, Messiah College closed on March 13, 2020, with hopes of returning in April after Easter break. Unfortunately for students, the next time that they see campus was for the fall semester. However, upon returning, the new name change wasn't the only thing new about campus. Messiah University opened to students on August 13th, five months after it originally shut down. Students and staff were mandated to wear a face covering in all public locations. In order to best promote social distancing, Messiah placed signs around campus that limited seating at tables, created one-way paths throughout buildings, and gave students a reference of how far apart they should stand in line at locations such as Lottie. Students were also asked not to leave campus unless it was absolutely essential. Messiah has been able to do some of the same things, but of course socially distance. So I've enjoyed the few activities I've been able to go to. Despite these restrictions, RA Dan Curry says students have been very cooperative. The general majority of Messiah students are cooperative with most rules in general, especially the COVID protocols set by Messiah. Um, obviously, there will be a few outliers and a few students that uh, will disregard anything that we say or set, and there will be some that break the rules. But in general, Messiah is a very respectful and good community. However, some students, such as sophomore Nicole Seriani, decided to leave campus as a result of these restrictions. It's the fact that you're living at home for so long, you're not really doing anything, and then you have to go into the world of COVID, and like you have to follow all these restrictions in your daily life that you're not used to and you just feel like closed in, like you're just like forced all these rules and they're okay. But when you're in a classroom for like two and a half hours with a mask on and you start feeling very uncomfortable and doing that day after day after day, after a while, it's a little bit just uncomfortable. Students who tested positive for the coronavirus were asked to quarantine either in Smith apartments or at home until they tested negative twice. Of them, Psy population, only 52 students as of now have gotten the coronavirus. Despite the situation, student Ryan Henshaw said the experience wasn't all that bad. Kevin Ogden has reached out to a bunch of us and it's talked about um, going on walks and everything. So we're getting out of the building and we've also been given a lot of food. Everyone's like really, they're uh, really approachable if like we need anything in regards to stuff that we left back at our dorm or just and, and really anything that we need and they can run out and get. Like it's, it's been going pretty good. Thanks to the diligent effort of students and staff, Masai University was able to stay open for the entire semester, thus allowing students to finish their in-person education. With the uncertainty of the future ahead of us, Messiah University students can at least rest in the fact that, unlike many other schools, we had a full semester on campus. For YBTV, I'm Paul Callender.